So he grew up as a farm boy, and he and he lived very close to nature. He lived in a very very small community, and his the entire family, the entire community was so dependent on nature, and that helped Somba to learn very early in life that their well-being really depended on. And here, the idea is to really understand what is it that makes what is it what is the what are the defining principles of a particular perspective. We will hear spiritual perspectives. We will hear perspectives from different constituencies, like the fisher folk, indigenous, like the Bonong, or the people in the Philippines. No? We will hear about perspectives from Isan uh, in Northeast Thailand. We will hear from how people mix. Will, will combine spirituality, whether it's Buddhism and Christianity or Islam with uh, traditional rituals. No? We'll also learn how social movement is practicing a paradigm like agroecology and how that is, that is an attempt to change the way people relate with nature. Uh, agroecology in my world is how the way, how the human have good relationship with soil, with the land, and then with the food for save the next generation. As organic, there is no agro chemically because the goal is save the next generation, not just uh, right now. Traditional knowledge of fisher folk is a model of local governance of marine and fisheries resource that far and sustainable. So Indonesia has various cultures, including local knowledge of traditional fisher folk. From Aceh, we can see hukum adat laut, mane e in North Sulawesi, lamafa in East Nusa Tenggara. Banyani with organic farm, like in the slideshow. The farm focus was to uh, promote su sustainable agriculture, and they do a lot of good works, a lot of trainings, a lot of giving information to society and demonstration sites on integrated farming uh, system model to, to Lao society and the Panyani Vet was quite well known in Lao society. And All indigenous peoples have a closely relationship with the nature because nature with us is a market. It is also clinic for, for us to, uh, to get the medicines. So we have also treat as our the sacred places because the burial ground of our ancestors will be there. And it's also our, this, this is our one of our belief. Then if we did destroy the, the natural resources, our secret uh, burial also will destroy. Will destroy. So Bunong, we believe in the uh, spirits of sky, hill, mountain, rock, water source rise ancestor we believe on this because we think that our survival because of this environment is our our life so we have to respect to the environment yeah as our elder said uh, the tree born in the time of the god with the thai people we need water like a fish and as fish living under the water as few need water in our language, it's the Leng Leng Siung Nam Peng Pa, Siung Na Peng Nam. It means that all uh, Thai people uh, have uh, very neat water, and uh, we have to, to to protect, to conserve the uh, the water resource. None of the indigenous societies can buy or sell or own any part of land. Uh, because nobody owns the land, it becomes a community property, commons, and individuals are forbidden to destroy it. So the sacred groves remain because it becomes a community property. The whole commons uh, take care of it, not an individual. Next. Next. 
ทําเกลือผ่านกระบวนการความรู้เหล่านี้ 3,000 ปีคนอีสานเล่าความเปลี่ยนแปลงทางธรณีวิทยาของคนอีสานผ่านนิทานเรื่องผาแดงนางไอ่ใครที่กินเนื้อพญานาคคนนั้นก็จะตายก็ทําให้เมืองนั้นถล่มลงไปทั้งเมืองนี่คือตำนานการเกิดบึงหนองหานกุมภาปีหนองหานสกลนครทะเลสาบที่ใหญ่ที่สุดแต่ว่ามีนักธรณีวิทยาคนหนึ่งเปรียบเทียบว่าความรู้เหล่านี้คือความรู้เรื่องธรณีวิทยาของคนอีสานที่เขาอธิบายปรากฏการธรรมชาติเมื่อหกเมื่อหลายร้อยล้านปีก่อนผ่านนิทานแล้วความรู้เหล่านี้เขาไม่มีเขาไม่ได้แยกออกมาเป็น H2O อย่างที่คุณพ่อพูดแต่เขาคิดแบบองค์รวมก็เลยอธิบายเป็นตำนาน argue that these origin episodes we might call them okay uh, play a certain role they probably connect the local community with the surrounding landscape they also form the community's identity okay among themselves and also with the surrounding environment that nowadays there are so many people cannot thinking about values at all everything has to transfer into the price so the government's perspective is also based on the ethos of community solidarity uh, it also believes in the capability of communities to set up systems and processes of self-regulation and self-governance based on the virtues of responsibility equality and sustainability buddha he learned a lot of things he escaped from the paris to the jungle that means he live in the jungle he live in the forest we, we have to teach lay people know that uh, forests have spirit too that means we teach them if you do the good thing to the forest you will receive the good thing as like you do thing good thing to the mother earth or to the the trees you will receive the good thing back to yourself give your harmony also in buddhist teaching if you do the good you will go to the heaven if you do bad thing you will go to hell that we call karma or karma you have to help the young to what we call i i call unlearn unlearn the knowledge you have to help to, to unlearn science materialistic science you have to really enter into a relationship and relearn again and then you will transform for within and then when you transform and you ah like buddha enlightened then he will go out to work in every dimensions now that is rice murid network 550 villages fighting but not fighting like that no but fighting from within each one when they understand they have to change lifestyle and change the way of cultivation and the more they get the more they share and i just more or less enlight you know listen to our friend here when they said for the indigenous ethnic group we live with ritual with our ritual we are not exist that's the our uh, combination of the civic democracy where participatory democracy real grassroots democracy which still prevails in most of the uh, society indigenous societies then biophilia and ecocentric ethos that we have already mentioned and finally the uh, communitarian ethos these three combined is the our major goal that we imagine would be possible to uh, stem this advancement of uh, modernity and developmentality we are not alternative. We have been mainstream over the last 3,000 years. But we have been forced. The mainstream have been under threat by new development models, new political systems that have infringed on and pushed the mainstream to now to become alternative.